All right, so here's a guided meditation practice in the Kriya Yoga tradition and for the sun influence, for strengthening the solar influence within you. Uh, that, you know, you can kind of think of the sun and moon as yin and yang, or yang and yin, rather. Um, <clears throat> so I will do, ideally, Lord willing, other lunar meditations for strengthening the moon and then all, all the other planets. But this is the meditation on the sun. Now, uh, we basically do two techniques here. The Shashumna breathing, which I've already covered in previous meditation videos. Um, so I don't feel I need to cover that again, but essentially it's just pulling the current up through the spine with the nose, mentally imagining a cool current going up the spine to the crown or to the Ajna center, holding it there, and then exhaling and imagining a warm current going back down. And you do that 12 times. And you count one, two, three, two, three, one, two, three. So that's 12. And then when you've done all those, so you count on them on your fingers. Okay, so you don't need a mala bead or anything. If you, I mean, if you have mala beads, that's fine. You can count it that way too. But you learn to count this with the digits. And then when you've got to the final digits, you've done 12. That's all you need to do as a beginner. You don't want to do more. You don't want to overload your system. And then... On the final one, the twelfth one, or you can do one more as a practice. On the final one, you just want to hold it there with your awareness in the crown center. And then there's the sun meditation and technique, and that's really just involves visualizing the sun, and I explain it step by step. So that's pretty simple. Now to get the uh, the most out of this, you can do this meditation anytime you want, but it, it can be even better to get the most out of this to do this meditation on a Sunday or when the sun is in Aries or Leo or exalted, um, or it could even be um, like at dawn when the sun is rising or at noon. Um, but really any time you wanna do it is also really a great time because there's no wrong time to meditate. And uh, yeah, so it also is helpful to sit and face, eat, face east, the direction of the sun um, and if you want, you can start with like some chanting too, like Sri Ram, Jai Ram, um, or the Gayatri Mantra. And I mentioned at the end, it's also to also good to conclude with the Gayatri Mantra. So that's pretty much it. Um, you know, we the sun is the ideal symbol of God. It was the original symbol of God in our world. Um, it lights up our world. It gives us warmth and energy. We can only perceive the sunlight. You know, we can only look at the sun for a moment without going blind. In the same way, it's like we can only perceive a God-inspired thought, an inspiration of light from the sun for like a moment before it fades away. And that's why you want to act on those things. And this meditation will help you to be more attuned to your own higher self and to be more in touch with your own inspiration. You know, the sun is the soul. It's the number one. <clears throat> Uh, in terms of numbers, it's the Atman, you know, the, the self. So this is <clears throat> a very good meditation for you to get, just to get uh, closer with your identity, yourself, and even your higher self. All right, so with that being said, enjoy. All right, so <clears throat> to begin, it helps to be able to have your back straight, like your spine, you know, there's a natural curvature of the spine that's also why the spine is uh, symbolized as a bow often, you know, allegorically in the Bhagavad Gita and elsewhere. So you want to sit up with your back straight, your eyes. You want your gaze to be looking slightly up and off as if gazing up at a mountaintop or a peak far away. You do not want your gaze to be downward. To be looking down you don't want to be hunched down like that that draws the attention back down to the lower chakras you want your awareness to be steady not up either like that with your neck tilting you want your neck to be completely straight in fact you can imagine you're being hung by your head like with a neck or sorry with a noose around your neck so you don't want to be like that you don't want to be like this you want to be like like that does that make sense that can be a helpful tool to remember the posture. If you're an American, just sit in a chair. Don't try to sit all cross-legged unless you are a practitioner.
practitioner of yoga or you're Indian or you grew up sitting cross-legged so it's comfortable for you, but you do not want to sit cross-legged if it is not comfortable for you. Yogananda used to tell Americans just to sit in a chair to meditate. If you can sit in lotus posture, so much the better. But just sit in a chair to start. Turn your mind within. Open your mind and your heart to God, the infinite. However that appears to you to be. Just breathe as you normally would. Breathe naturally. And it can be helpful to be aware of the breath, to watch it fill up and empty out. But just don't strain the breathing. Breathe normally. Take a moment to feel an awareness in your heart chakra, the space between the shoulder blades. You can even pull the shoulder blades back a bit to get a little bit of a feeling sensation there. And just abide here with your awareness in the space of the heart for a while. Notice your awareness becoming calmer and more centered. Now move the awareness from the heart, the Anahata Chakra, up to the space between the eyebrows, the Ajna, the command center of the body. Don't strain, but just try to just be there in the space between the eyebrows. When you're ready, let's introduce the Shashumna breathing. We inhale with the nose and mentally imagine a cool current moving up the spine, imagining it at first all the way up to the crown or the sp space between the eyebrows. Hold it there at the top of the breath, abide there for a moment, and then exhale and imagine a warm current flowing back down through the spine cleansing the chakras all the way back down to the root. And then inhale and do it again, and we'll do this 12 times. <clears throat> and on the last one, you pull the current up to the crown and just abide there.
I'll just do a few more. And the last one, hold it at the top of the breath. And just abide there in the crown chakra and the stillness you created on the final one. just take a moment to feel the peace and stillness and clarity that has been revealed to you now. Just continue abiding in this crown chakra or the Ajna center for as long as you can. Just having the awareness between the eyebrows or in the higher brain centers, forehead, top of the head. Just hang out here for a while. time you can hang out in this space for as long as you want and the longer you can hang out here the better it's really the after effects of the pranayama practice that are the most important just basking in this clear super conscious state or at least more super conscious than before When you're ready, we're going to try one more technique. This is going to be a visualization technique. And this is very good for strengthening the solar influence, the sun, the fire element within you. So we're going to imagine in our inner vision, we're going to visualize a sun a vast sun, just like the sun we know. But this is a vast spiritual sun. Imagine it rising in front of you with the most brilliant, unimaginably bright light. Imagine the sun dawning in your consciousness and illuminating your entire being. just bask in this sunlight 
and really try to feel the spiritual sun beaming down and shining on you. Try to see it, try to imagine it, try to literally feel the heat and the warmth that it's giving, just like when you're in the sun, how you feel that warmth and heat on you. Continue gazing through the spiritual eye, looking slightly up and off, but not straining. And just imagine the spiritual sun just beaming into you. Thoughts or other distractions come in, just ignore them. Stay focused on visualizing, imagining, seeing and feeling this spiritual sun beaming down on you. <clears throat> and just like the Bhagavad Gita says, If a thousand suns were to rise, Krishna tells Arjuna this, he tells him, if a thousand suns were to rise on the horizon, that might faintly, faintly resemble my brilliance. So the true brilliance of God, even a thousand suns rising would only faintly resemble that brilliance let's just try to imagine that try to imagine now just two suns all the light and all the warmth you felt now try to imagine doubling that how much more light and brilliance and radiance and inspiration would just be coming through permeating your being Now try to imagine three suns. Now imagine four suns rising, five suns rising, on and on as much as you can fathom. Just imagine this a thousand suns rising, the brilliance, the luminosity, so incomprehensibly bright and this is only maybe faintly resembling God if you could even get close to imagining that Really try to feel all of this light radiating out in all directions, every way. Feel yourself just basking in this otherworldly light, this heavenly light, this infinite light. Feel yourself basking in it just as a lizard would bask on a rock in the sunshine and just bathe in this consciousness and this light.
and hold this hold this meditation as long as you can and after the peak experience just let all the suns merge back into one sun and try to just hold that one sun in your inner vision beaming into you And after you've had that peak moment, you can slowly let that sun set or dissolve. Just let it disappear in your awareness. And now just abide here in this more luminous state Imagine that the sun's qualities, its light, its brilliance is now infused with your being. As you go about your day, remember that you have the full support of God's grace, of the universal processes of nature. Be on friendly terms with the friendly universe. Now just slowly let this meditative state just blend with your more normal waking awareness. But really feel yourself to have more of that light within you, more inspiration, more consistency, more steadfastness, more intelligence, more confidence in your being and in yourself. Let's honor God at the outset of this meditation. It can also be helpful if you know the Gayatri Mantra to chant the Gayatri Mantra a bit as you go back into your waking state of awareness. It's a mantra that's very good for that, for developing and cultivating this solar intelligence as well. But if you don't know that, that's fine. Just go about your day and try to carry this light and this awareness with you as you go and light up the kingdom of your own world, just as the sun lights up our world. Let's chant Om three times to conclude. Om.
Shanti Shanti Hari Om Shanti Om Om Gam Ganapati Namaha Jai Baba Namah Shivaya